Well, hello there. It's Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube with the last of the fall flower cards. And this one's going to be a vintage with some Copic marker and airbrush using a stamp set from Pink Fresh. And this one's intended to have flowers above and below a sentiment. It has lots of different sentiments in the set with some secondary ones that go along with it as well. Really beautiful one, works in lots of different kind of colorways. But I'm, of course, going to do it as a fall card. I stamped my grateful sentiment in some green distress oxide and then the rest is stamped onto my square cardstock this uh, Nina 80 pound it's stamped on there with some jet black lawn fawn ink which works well with Copic and watercolor so I use it pretty much all the time and I, I just love that ink pad it's fantastico and I'm just doing some playtime. I don't really do that very often on YouTube because if I'm going to try something different, I often try it ahead of time before I shoot a video so that I know if it's going to work and then I have a plan. But today I thought, you know, let's just go out and enjoy a little bit of coloring here and you can watch how I play. And maybe that'll encourage you to do the same at some point. And I'm just adding a series of colors and this time instead of putting all my dark in the center of the, the flower, I thought what if I build this, the shadows so that they're in the very front and the rest of it just sinks back into the distance. So I'm trying it just to see what happens. I don't usually use quite this many colors to shade one flower, but I thought okay, I'm just playing. And after I get to my really darkest color here, this V15, which is kind of scary for lots of people, but I recommend you try it sometime. Just stamp a whole bunch of one flower and see how dark you can tolerate something. Because when you get that contrast in there is when that dimension really starts to develop. Most people stop before they get to that nice rich contrast. And if you want to get there, then sometimes you need to push yourself past where you feel safe. So I'm just going to throw a couple other colors in here, throw a little more of the yellow on there just so I can blend out a few spots that were not perfectly blended and then throw some color into some of the other blooms. Now, those of you who have conniptions when something doesn't always get colored perfectly are going to have fits. I will apologize now because there are going to be some flowers and leaves that don't get colored in the right sequence. They will get colored later. When you have a stamp like this with so many little bits and pieces, it's kind of hard to see. And especially when you have the pressure of coloring on camera, then it just it's not something that you can just sit here and go, okay, I'm going to catch every single leaf of this color while I have this pen out. So if you end up having a little conniption while anyone is coloring and they miss a leaf or a button or a whatever, then have another cup of coffee while you wait and then come back to the video later when you've chilled a little bit because that's just what happens. So every once in a while I'll go back and pick up a flower that I missed or a leaf that I missed, that kind of thing. When it's all said and done, a lot of this is not going to matter all that much because I'm going to add so much to the background of it that it's going to be really gorgeous and rich in color. But I'm adding my YG95, which is one of my favorite greens, and it's it goes really well with that green color of the sentiment. So it's going to add just that little connection to the sentiment color add a bunch of those different greens in. I hope you've, by the way, been enjoying this whole week. If you have not, if you've just joined in on this particular video, you missed all the other fall flowers. There's been a whole week of them and I encourage you, ding, 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 go away texts. I encourage you to watch them all because it's been a lot of fun to do these all week long. I was adding a bunch of little color right around the edges because I wanted a little bit of green to be present in this, a little bit more connection to that sentiment, but I didn't want too much. And then I wanted to add a little more ruddy color to those leaves. So now what am I gonna do? I have all this color that needs to be blended out at the very outside edges and I need to blend in the leaves and where where is this all going to go? Well, as I was creating all this, I was thinking about a solution. So I did take a YR21 to blend out a little bit of that green and add just making sure I'm filling in all those color areas around the flowers before I move on to the final exciting step on this card. And there'll be some options because I know a lot of you don't do Copic Airbrush and there's going to be some Copic Airbrush in here. You can also do the same kind of thing with Distress Inks if you're really good with your Distress Inks. And I've got my, my black 
uh, metallic Ellen Hudson craft assistant that I'm using for the that's behind my piece of artwork because it cleans up really well and I've got my cardstock just glued down with some adhesive on the back of it so that I can just take a couple different browns and go around the outside edges I'm not worried that I'm going over top of some of those florals they're all in those same kinds of colors so it's okay that I'm covering some of them up. It's just going to soften everything and bring it all together. And when I shoot on this black mask mat, um, I apologize because the color just looks all funky. It really is quite gorgeous in real life, which you'll see here in just one second with the finished card. Look how beautiful that is. I layered it on a piece of gold cardstock and popped that up on a brown card base. And I am just so excited about this one. It's so delicious. So I hope you've enjoyed this week all week long. Leave some comments. Tell me what you thought. If I should do another of these series next year. And I will see you in the next video coming up very soon. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.